Hey folks, Ben the Massage Therapist here, and today I'm coming to you as a male massage therapist, not just a regular massage therapist, but a male massage therapist. So what's the difference, you might ask? Well, ideally, there should be no difference, but in reality, there is a difference. So we're gonna talk about those differences. So hey, I made a video earlier about my origin as a male massage therapist, and I pointed it out that I was a male massage therapist. I didn't think too much of it at the time, but it has sparked some conversation and I wanted to address it in this, I called it a blog last time, I'm gonna call it a vlog this time with a V, video log, right? So let's get into what are the differences between a male and a female massage therapist and why do we have to differentiate? All right, so let's look at some of the reasons why someone might seek out a female massage therapist over a male massage therapist. All right, so right off the bat, females, they just have the reputation of being more nurturing than a man. And that makes sense. They're the mothers. They take care of people. That's what they do. That makes sense. There's also a concern about body shaming. You know, a lot of females have the idea that, oh, I don't want a man seeing my body. And where I'm at, I live in a very conservative area of the country, of the world, and that is a legitimate concern for some people looking for massage work. Now we also have some men are uncomfortable with the idea of having another man work on them. But there's exceptions to that rule and we're gonna to get to that. And then we also have women that worry about a male massage therapist being threatening in a very vulnerable environment. I mean, this you're alone with another male potentially. I mean, this is a male professional massage therapist, but it only takes one person to mess up things. So you get a male massage therapist that does something inappropriate that ruins it for the entire profession of male massage therapists. So I'm talking to you. If you are inappropriate in the massage room, you need to stop. You need to quit the profession and leave. That's all I'm going to say about that. So there can be issues with abuse, trauma, um, fears that are triggered when it comes to being in close proximity to a man if that trauma was caused by a man. And those are very legitimate concerns. And I've dealt with those people. And that is not something that I can guide them through. If they're not comfortable having a man work with them in a massage session, uh, we're gonna send them on to someone else that can help them because I would rather them seek some type of massage therapy than not get massage therapy at all. Another reason is, and this is a crazy one, but some married women you know, discriminate and they think that if they go see a male massage therapist, their husband may think that they're cheating on them or it could lead to some kind of trouble. Now that's something I read on the internet and I just thought I'd bring that up because I've never really run across that personally, but it doesn't mean it can't happen. It, I've just never heard about it. So all of these types of inaccuracies have helped to hamper uh, males' attempts at making a career out of massage, you know? Whether it's true or not, it's reality for massage therapists when they are trying to make a career out of massage therapy. So once again, I know a lot of you have been asking about the difficulties of being a male massage therapist, and I'm just trying to address some of these up front, and I wanna to talk to you about how I deal with some of these things. Now, some of the reasons that male massage therapists are actually sought out for um, in a massage session is, you know, they're looked to as someone who may provide a more therapeutic approach to massage, you know, more along the lines of something a PT would provide. Um, so people look to males for that type of work. There's also the idea that males will provide a stronger or deeper massage, which is not necessarily the case. I mean, anatom anatomically, males are a little bit stronger, but it's not about pure strength. It's about leveraging what you do. And I've had plenty of female massage therapists that have made me tap out when I'm on the table, that's for sure. So it's not about brute strength when it comes to massage. Also, athletes 
will seek out male massage therapists because they recognize the intent, the attention that they need for their bodies. Um, and this, you know, opens an opportunity for male massage therapists that want to work with athletic teams, um, you know, and not being stuck in a spa setting. I mean, you can go and work with professional athletic teams. And for myself and how I handle this, I'm challenged by this opportunity to be the best I can be. Uh, there are probably a lot of male massage therapists who have gone through some of the same challenges that I have. And what I'm going to say may ruffle some feathers, but if you are a female massage therapist and you are inclined to do this, you can pretty much float by without investing in yourself or doing a whole lot um, to improve just because the profession is dominated by females. You are the norm. You are the expectation when it comes to massage. So it's a lot easier for you to find a job and to find customers. I told the story of how long it took me to find my first job 20 years ago. It was not an easy task for me. And I'll leave a link to that video up in the card and maybe down in the uh, description too if you want to check out that video. So as a female, you can get by without having to put in the extra effort into education you can really, if you want to, make a career out of doing what I call cookie cutter massage, which is not a bad thing, but you can do this a lot more easily than a male can. So a male has to work that much harder to earn that same respect in the massage field um, that a female counterpart is given. Females are given this almost automatically. So here's a true story I want to share with you. I attended a cadaver lab at a university um, near me a few years back and I got to review anatomy and it was one of the coolest things I've ever done and I loved it. I just happened to have a massage therapist, a veteran massage therapist come and see me that week and I shared this information with you. I said, hey, guess what I did this week? I went and, I went and saw this cadaver lab and I got to check out all the muscles and, and it was awesome. And her response to me was, honey, I've been doing massage for so long, I don't need to know muscles anymore. <laughs> so this is a prime example of someone putting in minimum effort. Now really, gender doesn't matter. If you're not going to put in the effort to improve on your craft, you're not really going to advance. And that's whether you're male or female. So this just helps highlight my point that if you're a female and you want to get, get away with putting in the bare minimum, you can probably do it. You can most likely get a job pretty quickly doing massage and do pretty well at it. So let me tell you that experienced massage clients are usually more concerned about the quality of work than the gender of the massage therapist. And that's important too, is a lot of times I will hear from clients that I've been to this therapist, this therapist, this therapist, and they just couldn't do what I wanted. And I think that's where the education on my part has really paid off. The investment in myself and my investment in how to help people has really helped to put me in a better position um, than some of the people who are just floating by, so to speak. So let me tell you, being a male massage therapist can have its challenges, but if you stick with it, I think you can be one of the go-to people in your area that people will look for when they seek out massage work. So let me ask you, did something in this video resonate with you or anger you or get you going? Hey, I want you to join the conversation. Let me know down in the comments, what are, what are your thoughts about being a male massage therapist versus a female massage therapist. Um, I've been putting a lot of thought into this lately. And like I said, it shouldn't be a big deal, but there is a difference. So hey, thanks for watching and look for more videos in the future.